someone kind of likes elevators. She's been on enough that she knows how they work. It's time to say goodbye to our magnet. We've heard that people steal them when you're in Florida, so we're just gonna take it off now. Also, shout out to the Brookharts. They sent that to us. Isn't that so sweet? We weren't able to go to the, the Flower and Garden Festival, and I really wanted a mini one, and they sent us one. That was very kind. <laughs> it's getting very foggy because we're in the land of humidity. But we're in Houston, and we're heading to New Orleans. Well, there it is. Our one stop in Houston, the childhood home of Beyonce and Solange. It's very nice, it's a very nice house. We had initially planned to stop at the uh, Houston Space Center, but I just don't think that we have a lot of time to visit it. And also we were in the car for so long yesterday. Yesterday was such a long day that I think we just want to like get on to New Orleans today. So that's where we're headed. All right, we had to come back to Beyonce's house because for whatever reason, I packed this big sun hat on our trip and I haven't worn it a single time. And I figured what better place to wear it than in front of Beyonce's house. So now I got to get my selfie with my cool hat in Beyonce's house. It. Dang, they have rows and rows and rows of pumps. Wow. Have you ever been to a Bucky's before? This is the second time we've been to one and they're amazing. And now I'm sad that we didn't stop at all of the other ones that we came across. They are huge. And they have so much amazing stuff inside. So many things that are branded Bucky's, and they all sound really interesting. Bucky's has so many amazing things that it's just Bucky themed. Ooh, tie dye shirt. Yes, please. <laughs> you know, I can never remember whether or not I'm supposed to mess with Texas. I should probably buy something that reminds me. Well, I could spend hours in there. But Jeremy's probably tired of waiting in the car, so we'll go. I have had a grand time in Texas. I love all of Texas and all of its white trucks and all of its signs of don't mess with Texas and all of the Texas-shaped things that they put on everything. I actually... This seems kind of sarcastic, but it's not. I actually really, really liked Texas. I'm excited to come back sometime. Louisiana State Line. Welcome to Louisiana. It's a little more than a person. And we are here at our, I think it's a bed and breakfast, our hotel for the next couple nights. And we are staying in the Garden District on a recommendation by Carmen and Brian, The Adventures of Peas and Carrots. So thank you, we like it so far. Um, they were telling us that it was their favorite area to stay the last time we were hanging out with them in Disney World. And so far it's been very cute. And this hotel seems lovely, so let's check it out. This courtyard area is so cute. How relaxing. We made it to our hotel room. This is Bordello room number seven. It's really cool. I like the Asian influence in this one. Even the bathroom. It's very cute, I like it a lot. 
think the shower is probably the most basic thing, but even that it's fine. It'll be a good place for a couple nights. And we have a cute view of the courtyard from our room. It's cute. And this room is allegedly one of the haunted ones because, you know, New Orleans. All right, we drove around uh, French Quarter a little bit and then we came back to our hotel and we walked to this place called Slice. It's a pizza place. And we're sitting outside and little miss over here is having trouble dealing with the humidity just as much as we are. <laughs> you got yourself there a Bloody Mary, huh? It's the special of the day. It looks really good. It looks like it's got some goodness going on in there. Is that a green bean? Mm -hmm. Pickled green beans. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I got the local IPA. I forget what she called it. Mm. I'm very bad at remembering. Jucifer. Oh, Jucifer, yep. I'm bad at remembering what beers I ordered. 38 half my salad, but it's a really good Caesar salad. And our pizza came. Then I got the white pizza, which is basically just a bunch of cheeses and some basil. <laughs> Jeremy got a couple slices. We got the BBG, which is uh, this one, I think. What's on it? Uh, a Neiman ranch bacon basil and roasted garlic. Oh, that's garlic. Oh, that looks good. And then this one is prosciutto, arugula, and gorgonzola. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Green light. Green light, go! That pizza was really good. It was good. It was very good. The beer was good. Everything was good. My salad was good. Um, okay, now we're just driving around again because I wanted to cool back off in our good car AC because our room was still a little muggy. Um, but we're gonna go check out the garden district at night and find the real world house. It's exciting, isn't it? It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but it is huge. Yeah. So it is the real world New Orleans house. Uh, it's apparently for sale. And it is huge. I was just saying to Jeremy that that house we just drove by is very cool, but doesn't really look familiar. Like, I thought you could see the real world house better. Apparently that is a second season of Real World New Orleans. So let's go find the one that, the season that we both would know. Yay, we found the right one we were looking for. It's really neat looking. It's really cool. Apparently it's called the Belfort Mansion. Wow, that is such a cool house. We might have to drive back by this one in the day tomorrow. This is Anne Rice's house, or it was. I don't think she still lives there. Um, but she actually used this house as the um, inspiration for the Mayfair house in her Mayfair, which is book of her trilogy. And yeah, it's an incredibly neat house. We made it back to our room. I'm standing in front of the AC, so I'm feeling good right now. Thank you for coming along with us today. We had a nice long drive and we've had a good time here so far um, in New Orleans. It's been, it's been really interesting. It's really, really neat to see all of the different architecture and all the houses. It's just all, they're all very beautiful and really neat and there's no other place like this. Tomorrow I think we're gonna do some stuff in the French Quarter. We haven't really, finalize things. We were going to do a walking tour, but then we didn't actually pick which one we're going to do. So I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out tonight. So anyway, thank you for coming along with us and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone. She's not interested tonight. Good night. Good night. Yeah, whatever, mom. Okay.
She doesn't like the humidity either, I guess. <laughs> All right, bye.